come out to do some scouting in a public land spot that I haven't been in in about three years. And all I brought was my muck boots. Look how high this creek is. Just got a ton of rain. It's up to the bottom of that log that I'm going to cross. So if that log wasn't there, I'd be screwed. The last time I was in this spot was about three years ago. I found it on one of my saved maps and thought, you know what, let's go pay this a visit, see what it looks like. Last time I tried hunting in this area, there were a couple other hunters. And it just ended up getting blown out. Started coming in here and not seeing any deer. So I bailed on that spot. Started finding some new places to hunt. Oh, this is just crazy. Right where I'm standing is usually dry land. You can see the edge of the dry land right there. And this creek's usually only about two feet deep. Right now where this log's at, it's probably about eight feet right now. Starting to get all dammed up already right here. And this log's been here for years. Gonna be a little sketchy going across here. If I fall in, I'm gonna be cold and wet. Crossing logs like these with muck boots on isn't the greatest idea. Well, Bill's not drowning today. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever seen the creek this deep. Anyway, we're not going real far to check out this spot I was talking about. It's about three quarters of a mile. If I remember right, there's a real heavy trail. It takes me up into this public land spot. fresh tracks it's always a good sign there's a pretty heavy deer trail too let's check that out and today it's about 43 degrees out. Like I said, I haven't been in here in three years and everything looks so different. Falling over trees. Your eyes open. Let me know if you guys see any sheds. Yeah, sheds would be pretty hard to find in here. They're always falling over 
trees and broken branches. Just crap everywhere. Oh, here's the trail. Look how defined this trail is. Super heavy, deep trail. There's some fresh tracks in here too. This is one of those trails that you can follow in the pitch black. Won't even need a flashlight. All you'd have to do is follow the groove in the ground. Crazy. Well, I made it up to that spot I was talking about, about three quarters of a mile way up the mountain. Oh, somebody must be afraid to get lost. Good lord. Had orange paint, got ribbons. Orange paint on both sides of the trees. And there's a double ladder stand that's still in here and we're in May. Jesus. Orange paint and the ribbons go all the way up this trail. You can see them way up through there. <sighs> well, I'm glad I came up here to check it out. I know not to come in here. I don't even see a tag on that tree stand. Well then. <laughs> Unbelievable. Ribbons, paint, orange paint, ribbons. More orange paint. More ribbons. I mean, look how heavy this trail is. I don't think there's any reason to have to mark this trail. That's just insane. More paint. And more paint and ribbons. Freaking paint markers go all the way up this trail. I'm not going any further. And that paint definitely ain't from any loggers. We're three quarters away up the mountain. And it's all rocks and boulders. They're not logging this out. Hunter must really love this spot, that's all I gotta say. I'm getting out of here. A lot of times when you go in to hunt a spot, you can get away with just going in and scouting your way in and doing a sit. And when you do that, a lot of times you run into stuff like this. And then you just gotta keep moving on. So this is one of the biggest reasons I like to pre-scout all year long. Look for new spots on public land because you never know when you're gonna run into this kind of stuff. And the last thing I wanna do is scout my way in the day that I'm hunting 
and run into this stuff all day long. I mean, it's not all the time, but it happens more often than not on these public land parts. Anyway, I really love being out here. This is what I enjoy, looking at new areas on public land. Now I'm gonna jump off of here and pay attention to the ground, see if I can find me some sheds. Hit that like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Up here in these mountains, it's where I was meant to be. Keeps me from my troubles, helps me to find my peace. Oh. Standing in these waters Washes my soul clean Out here in these sticks I get a better sense of me oh. Oh.